If your motto is, bigger is better, here's your dog. I would imagine that even walking down the street with a three-month-old English Mastiff, you would get stopped constantly. And I would imagine also that many of those comments would be, is it a horse or is it a pony? These dogs are massive. Yeah, the Great Dane and the Irish Wolfhound might be taller, but they can't compare to the English Mastiff in sheer mass. The Guinness Book of World Records recognized a 343-pound English Mastiff named Zorba as the world's heaviest living dog back in 1989. He was eight feet from head to tail, and he was the size of a small donkey. Sure, that's an extreme, but the average English Mastiff weighs as much as the average human, between 140 and 200 pounds. Anybody thinking of one has to consider, uh, you know, the large expense of keeping them and feeding them. All this volume combined with an instinctively protective nature makes the English Mastiff an ideal watchdog. This colossal canine is the oldest English breed, and its history goes way, way back. I mean, these dogs have been around since the beginning of dog time. It's believed that Phoenician traders brought the ancestors of the English Mastiff to Britain around 500 BC. And in 55 BC, Caesar makes mention of them fighting valiantly next to the uh, English soldiers when he invaded Britain. But for all their brute force, these mammoth creatures are more likely to lick you than lunge at you. <laughs> They're very easygoing, very laid back, just kind of like couch potato type dog. Just make sure you have a big couch. Heavy boned and muscular, English Mastiffs take up a lot of space. And that's quite a face, isn't it? The English Mastiff has wide set eyes, a wrinkled forehead, and a very broad head. It's got the head the size of a polar bear. And this short-coated canine comes in three distinct colors, fawn, apricot, and brindle. You might think an English Mastiff would need a house the size of a castle, but this animal is sedentary enough that an average-sized home will do. And a daily walk around the neighborhood will keep this slow-moving dog exercised. But if you're a neat freak, beware. They have big, big feet, so they track in all this dirt, and they slobber constantly. English Mastiffs have their share of health issues. The breed can suffer from conditions like hip dysplasia, bloat, obesity, bone cancer, and of course, eye diseases. Their life expectancy is 10 to 12 years. Grooming them is very easy, but bathing them, well, that could be another story. They're so big, so... I don't want to bath. You might have trouble getting them in the bathtub. English Mastiffs respond moderately well to obedience training but you'll need some patience because these dogs don't do anything quickly. English Mastiffs are docile and devoted to their caretakers, but are not recommended for families with small children simply because of their enormous size, which creates other disadvantages. They poop a lot. To sum it up, the English Mastiff is a gentle giant, but it's definitely not for everyone. These tremendous dogs do not require much exercise, but they do take up a lot of space. Their size makes them prone to a range of health problems. They can suffer from eye problems, bloat, and dysplasia, but their grooming requirements are minimal. Training them requires patience, and as a family pet, they are protective and loving, but are not a safe choice for families with small children. If you're the type who likes to supersize it, though, you don't need to look much further. Life with an English Mastiff is a major commitment and can also bring major rewards.